All right, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy X, and uh, we're gonna just get straight back into things. That was the ject shot, wasn't it? Uh How do you know that? <laughs> Sir Ject showed it to me when I was a child. He, he called it the Sublimely Magnificent Ject Shot Mark III. Huh. Stupid name, huh? You know what? There is no Mark I or Mark II, you know? My old man said the name Mark III was just something to hook the crowd. He said they'd come back every night expecting to see Mark I and Mark II. And they really did come back. I used to get so mad. <laughs> Is he alive, you think? I don't know. But... Sir Jekt was my father's guardian. So he's famous here, too? Yes. So, if anything happened to him, I should think word would get around fast. Uh-huh. What would you do if you found him? Who knows? I thought he died ten years ago. Well... I'd probably just smack him one. After everything he put mom and me through. And because he was famous, I was always... Well, you should know, Yuna. Hmm? Your father's famous too. Everyone in Spira knows him, right? Hmm. Ain't it tough? It is hard to follow in his footsteps as a summoner. Sure. But the honor of having a father like him passes all that. I think. Well, there wasn't much to honor about my old man, that's for sure. You shouldn't say that about your father. I got the right. Hmm. I guess you do. Ow! Show me that move again. <laughs> Yo! I didn't think my old man would come to Luca. He never did like watching other people play. But I couldn't help feeling something bad was going to happen. And these feelings of mine are usually right. Sure, I had told Waka I'd help him win the tournament, but I wasn't sure I had it in me to play at all anymore. And we will go ahead and save, and uh, I guess... Oop, no, I don't want to do a new slot, no. I would try to make the joke of, hey, we'll catch you guys next time, but, uh, nah, that's not gonna happen this time. We're <laughs> three minutes in. Here we go, guys. We're in Luca. This place is awesome. It's, uh, it's a cool place. It's, it's one of the bigger areas that you get to see in, uh, in the whole game, actually. If not, maybe the biggest, now that I think about it. Um, there's a whole lot of stuff that you can do here. There's obviously the Blitzball tournament that we're about to do, but there's a bunch of other collectibles and other things that you can do here. One of the bigger side quests in this game uh, that I in intend to do is uh, play a ton of Blitzball, which I don't know if I'm going to record all of it just because it's a lot of work. Excuse me. And honestly, I just don't know if I want to record me playing a bunch of Blitzball games over and over again. And honestly, the more I began to think about it, I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to do all the Dark Aeons in this LP or not, or if I do, I might do them at a later time. But more games are coming out later this year that I want to try to do blind LPs for. It, hopefully, at least. Um, one of the big ones for me is The Witcher 3. Um, I may not actually do like a full blind LP, but I might at least record a, some of it. Um, and I'm going to get the Nintendo Switch version, specifically. Let's 
They've never made it past the first round. Only a few Jesus looks pretty angry. Are in the audience today. Best of luck to them and a safe journey back to Bisset. Right, Jim. Moving right along. Our team is... Here they are, folks. Our very own Luca Goer. They've got power. They've got speed. They've got teamwork. They're an all-round first-class team, and they're back home in Luca. Without a doubt, they are the favorite this year, Baba. And after the way they dominated last year, it'd take a miracle for them to lose today. You can say that again, Jenna. Look at the crowd, folks. Look at the crowd. Looks like all of Luca has turned out to cheer the goers on. They know, I know, and you know, folks. The Luca goers are number one. It's like this every year, yeah? Don't let it bother you. I think he's letting it bother him. <laughs> For sure. Stop right there, goers. You guys are smiling now, but not for long. Because this year, us Aurochs are taking the cup. <laughs> What in Yevon's name were you doing out there? We sure stood out, though. We were on the sphere. We were? Maester Micah is here. Already? The number three dot. What's up now? Maester Micah has arrived. That's what. Micah? Maester? Maester Micah is the leader of all the peoples of Spira. He's come all the way from Bavel. The tournament is being held to honor his 50 years as Maester. 50 years? Shouldn't he be, uh, retired by now? Hey, mind your mouth now. Let's all go see him. <sighs> this is one of the fatal flaws with this game, though, is that there are just cutscenes on cutscenes on cutscenes. It's kind of getting a little frustrating on my end, because I want to be able to talk a little bit more, but it's hard for me to come up with things to say that are funny over the top of cutscenes. I guess we'll save one more time just for the just for the heck of it. The good news is though, like once we get past this area, that's kind of when things start to open up a little bit more and I, I'll finally have the ability to like actually talk a little bit. Especially when we get to the Blitzball game, but once we get past mm -hmm. Luca in general, can't then things thing. open up a whole lot more. Shh. There was another game I was thinking about LPing as well, but I kind of don't want to start it all over. Um, I, I was thinking that after I finish up Shadow of the Colossus, I was going to do Octopath Traveler, but I don't want to do two RPGs at the same time, and I'm also already like 15 hours into that game. Um, phenomenal game, by the way, and I'll totally play it again in the future at some point. But I'm That's a guano, definitely right? not going to be playing uh, Octopath Traveler for YouTube, at least anytime soon. I might potentially do the sequel. Now this guy. Seymour is kind of a weird character. I like his character. I think he's certainly interesting. But I'm not a huge fan of the way that he's developed over the course of this game. And I won't spoil that too much. In case this is your first time seeing this game or anything like that. Rise, Mr. Seymour. And all of you as well. I present to you the son of Mr. Jiskel Guado, who departed for the far plane of Fort Night Park. As some of you already know, he has been officially ordained a Maester of Yevon. I am Seymour Guado. I am honored to receive the title of Maester. In life, my father Jiskel worked to foster friendship 
between man and Guado. I vow to carry on his legacy and to fulfill my duties as maester to the best of my abilities. Hmm. You too. Also, Seymour's hair is just beyond weird. Sex you up, yeah? All right, last meeting before the match. Also. <sighs> All right. I wonder what's about to happen. I actually can't remember. Man, another time we get to save. Saves galore, huh? Where's Waka? Empty matchup draws. We had to play the Gores in the first match last year. The year before that, and the one before that, too. Well, we would have lost to anyone anyway. Captain Waka! <laughs> we're playing the Albed Sykes first. If we win, we're in the finals. That's right, we got seated. Two wins, and we're the champions. First things first, let's go over the basics again, boys. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna skip everything because there's a lot of stuff in here. And if you guys ever play this game, feel free to go through this on your own, but this is something that I just don't want to show you that I need to see because I've played this game a couple dozen times, probably. There you are. Someone said they saw Sir Oren in a cafe. Uh, Oren? Yes, Sir Oren. Let's go find him. Starts like real soon. You come back quick, yeah? Hey, I'll be back. Yeah, okay. Hey, Waka, <sighs> you're stiff, man. <clears throat> no, no, not your face. Yeah. Just breathe out, relax. Okay. Like this. <clears throat> Just breathe. Yeah. <sighs> <laughs> Maybe now we can find Sir Jack. Huh? How? Sir Oren was also my father's guardian. So, he might know where Sir Jack is. Let's go now. It didn't even occur to me to think that the Oren Yuna was talking about, and the one that I knew from Xanarkin could be two different people. I don't know why. But I knew it was the same guy. I knew it was the same Oren. Well, you're from Well, you're probably right. Vasikna Bund. Hey! Albed Sykes, right? Some Albed saved me the other day, and this girl Riku gave me food and uh <laughs> you don't understand me, do you? Uh Uh, anyway, if you meet Riku, tell her thanks for me. Oh, and as for the first game, may the best team win. Okay. Now, there's just one more thing I'm going to take care of here before we uh, head out here, and, oh gosh, where is it?
I'm trying to figure out where on earth the Albed primers are. I don't think it's in here. There's a chest. Oh, there's two high potions. Maybe it is in here. Well, okay, maybe not. What happens if I go over here? Maybe it's in this area and I just missed it? No. What if we go back in here? Mm, no, not from what I can see. All right, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try to find this uh, this Albed Primer. Whenever I find it, I'll continue on with the next episode. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy X. See you guys later.